emptier than an office building in Brunswick. A hive of overeducated immigrant middle classers. Overseen by the overseen smartphone machine. I oversee 20 plus hours of the day. I work those bulbous organs like sled dogs. But my eyes glaze over the green and take this garden state for granted. Home is a psychosomatic sanctuary. I feel corporeal connections to its carpeting. I named my favorite stuffed animal Ricky and was inconsolable when I dropped my green soldiers in the vents. I use my house like people use people to feel more wholly comfortable and affirmed and to create your nerves at their absence. I've made sure never to leave my house some pale, for deformed piece of 94 with creamy cataracts has conspired to keep milking these eyes and idolize the blank slate that is every wall of the house. The smallest wall of the house is the most curious. Is it a window? It projects the most pleasing white light. My inchoate side colors within the lines the slick divide of a grid of pixels. And within those Baroque codes, a whole heuristic, I ravenously explore and on occasion, accidentally, accidentally tear into noxious after images of Mrs. Chainsmoking Neighbor, whose name I don't remember.